Hi. Hi, today I will cover uh, plugin design pattern. This plugin design pattern belongs to base patterns, and uh, this base patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of uh, plugin uh, design pattern. Uh, this is the explanation uh, links classes during configuration rather than compilation. Uh, we will see uh, example so that you will understand. okay so here uh, you can see the domain object okay so the domain object has id value uh, this id is nothing but a uh, primary key value in the database table so uh, the id generation logic uh, we can use uh, based on the different kind of environment suppose our environment is uh, oracle then we have to use Oracle ID generator. Suppose our environment is MySQL, then we have to use MySQL ID generator. Suppose our environment is unit testing, then we can use some kind of memory counter uh, to generate the IDs, and that IDs we can persist in the database table. Okay. So here you can see the domain object. Then this ID uh, ID generation uh, we have defined uh, interface ID generator. Okay, and from uh, this is the interface that is implemented by oracle id generator mysql id generator and memory counter which will be used for the unit testing so we are using three different kind of id generation class okay uh, so here we have mentioned question mark meaning what should be plugged in uh, for this id generation so what should be plugged in uh, based on the environment okay based on the runtime environment if runtime environment is oracle then this id generator uh, should be oracle id generator if uh, environment is mysql then uh, the id generation should be mysql id generator and if the environment is unit testing then uh, we have to use memory counter okay so that we have defined interface and uh, this interface implementation will be given by three different distinct uh, classes and this plugin so this plugin based on the uh, runtime environment okay uh, so how we can uh, uh, write a factory class okay so it should be like this so uh, if oracle okay then we have to use oracle id generator if the runtime environment is oracle then we have to use oracle id generator else if if mysql we have to use mysql id generator else if it is unit testing environment we have to use uh, memory counter so uh, this plugin class uh, will be decided by uh, different kind of environment so what we can do is we can uh, define environment variable uh, in the property file uh, so we have to read whether uh, the environment is oracle if it is oracle then use oracle id generator so like that we can use we can define some property in the property we can mention the environment is oracle before we do compilation or take the build so if it is uh, if the property is mentioned oracle then automatically this oracle id generator will be plugged in then oracle id generation logic will be used to generate the ids okay and you can see the explanation here use plugin whenever you have behaviors that require different implementation based on the runtime environment so you can understand easily based on the different runtime environment our plugin class is uh, varied okay so that is the sentence here use plugin whenever you have behaviors that requires different implementation based on the runtime environment okay and uh, separated interfaces often used when application code runs in a multiple environment so we are using separated classes okay uh, if the uh, based on the runtime environment we are plugging that is what it is mentioned here and uh, links classes doing configuration so here what we are doing is we are configuring in the property file uh, what is the environment so based on the environment we are uh, plug in the generator so that is what links classes during configuration rather than compilation and uh, this is about uh, plugin pattern uh, thanks for watching bye